Hello everybody. Okay. So I've been getting some complaints because of my last video. Um, where I explained how to get both of the eyes of the statues. So since my microphone was kind of off that day. Most of you couldn't hear what I was saying. And I've been getting some hate comments because of that. So I'm just gonna quickly redo this video and take the other one down so that you can know how to do this quest easily so we start off at Luhua Pool or however that's pronounced now once we're here all we want to do is go over to this place right here with all the pools okay so there's gonna be a guy standing here called Vimir or something like that He's a pretty tall, fat guy, hard to miss. You talk to him and he gives you a quest saying that he's lost his paint materials. To be precise, I think it was a paintbrush and maybe a painting. And he painted that on two landscapes. So, all you have to do is go to this spot right here. And right here at this little cliff, you see it? Like, my Corsa kept going back, but like it's. Okay over here right here on this piece of land that's the landscape where one of the pieces is that you have to look for now the second piece of paintbrush or whatever it is is right here this cliff now I already have a video um, showing where you can actually get those it's a two minute video so if you are interested in actually knowing where they are exactly you can go ahead and watch that video if not well it's pretty self explanatory just go there and it's there <laughs> okay after you're done with that quest he's gonna give you one of the eyes saying that he doesn't know what it is and that these two statues are supposed to have lights and eyes but that he can't see them and that he's disappointed and it's obviously giving you a stone to let you know that he that it's one of the eyes now the second eye though is harder to find and that's why most people have probably um, been complaining on the last video because since you can't hear me you can't actually hear me say where it is so this time I'm gonna explain it in detail and even go there so once you're done with that quest and he gives you the eye you talk to him again and he will tell you that you're supposed to look around the area for the second one and basically the entire area pops up here for you to look but that's actually not the place where you're supposed to look because this is the place where you just put the ice in the statue which I'm also going to explain in a few seconds the thing you have to do is at these pools, all of them, like these tiny pools, I don't actually know if it's a random location or not, but there are glowing things in them. So, I found the eye right here at this little part of the pool that I actually have marked. So, this is where I found the eye, and it's most probably where, uh, most probably where you're gonna find it. But either way, just search these pools, and you're gonna see a glowing object in them, such as so. Pick it up and it could be the ball now it might probably not uh, pop up because mine actually didn't pop up if you actually grab it and so it's not going to indicate that you have it so how do you figure out it you actually, if you actually have it you can go into your items um, sorry you can go to your items and look and see if it's there because maybe you've been searching like for half an hour and you're like where is this I can't find it well maybe you already have it and you just didn't notice which was actually my case now once you do have those both of them you just climb up the statues I actually just went up here climb this and then yeah. you fight these guys which I'm actually not gonna do now because I'm um, okay I'm actually gonna do it just real quick Okay, so you defeat them, get the items if you wanna, I mean, I bet you probably do, and then you just go back here, climb to his head, 
and there's going to be a message popping up right about here saying if you want to insert the eye. Same thing's going to happen with that one. Once you've done that, this thing here will unlock and you'll be able to use Geo on it. Now you can use Geo with your main character or with um, Noel with her shield, just as so. Do whatever you want, whatever pleases you. If you have another rock character, um, then use her because I don't actually think there's a guy that uses rock in this game. Once you've done that, three enemies are going to pop up here. I believe it was three. They are not actually hard to beat. If you do have trouble beating them though, I do recommend, I was recommend this in the last video, but I'm going to do it again. I recommend you go to your artifacts and instead of equipping like set bonuses, which are good, but later in the game, first off in the game, the thing you want to do or be focusing on most is have one character that does damage, a lot of damage, and just build them with pure damage. Like, it's that simple. So you go to your artifacts and you look for one that has the attack bonus stat. And even if it doesn't combine with the set bonus you want, it's going to be better than a set bonus at this point in the game. Further on, you might want to start using US set bonuses, but that's when you have all of them rare or legendary, like four stars or five stars. But for three stars, it's actually just better if you just take the attack bonus because it does give you a hell ton of attack. As you can see, I have 775 and that's a pretty good stat to have um, at this point in the game at least. So just put all of them attack. That's what I did, except for the flower that only has HP. So uh, you want to get a, um, a second set bonus. Like the flower has like secondary stats. You might want to get a secondary stat that's attack. If you do, well, good. If not, well, it's okay. Then just go into this cave, and there are going to be two spiders here. Nothing more, actually. I actually was kind of disappointed the first time around. And there's going to be a big chest in the middle, and two chests over there. Um, these spiders are annoying if you don't kill them in the beginning. As you see, they don't do a lot of damage, but they are annoying. So just go around and kill them. And that's basically how you do the Luhua pool I quest. And that's it. I also explained in this quest that if you go over here and you see these three lion statues, you just want to use your main character. Hopefully with Dio. I don't actually know if I have him with Dio. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I have him with Wind. Well, whatever. You go here, and you just use his Geo skill, which places a rock on here. Then you just do the same thing, and place a rock on here, after the cooldown. And then you just stand on this one yourself, or put a rock on here, whatever makes you happy. Then a big chest is going to appear here, and it's actually just a normal chest. No rarity in it, no good items, just a basic chest. 20 XP, if you want it, get it. And that's basically it. I also have another video explaining in Luhua pool how to open this thing right here. Which is pretty simple, you just have to hit three of them and the rest light up. If you're interested in that, just go look for that video in my channel. So I hope this makes up for my past video and have a nice day everybody. See you around.